Welcome to Pro Kitchen Software online video tutorial series. In this video, we will explore window attributes. We will access window attributes, navigate each tab within the attributes dialog box, and manipulate each customization option. Pro Kitchen offers you many window options to place in your designs. These windows are highly customizable and allow you to best match the element from your customer's home. In this video, we are going to explore all of the customization options found within window attributes and how to manipulate them. We will use this basic casement window to get started. To access attributes, right click on the window, hover to its nomenclature, into the toolbox and select Attributes, or double left click the window to bypass right click access. In the Window Attributes dialog box to the left, you will see General, Construction, Special Shapes, Grill Patterns, Window Glazing, Window Interior and Exterior, Hardware, and Blinds tabs. These tabs will hold all the customization options. At the upper right corner of the dialog box is the preview panel that will display the window. Here, you will see the alterations as you create them. You can zoom in and out with the rollerball on the mouse, or stop and start the rotation by left clicking once in the preview panel. Before we dive into the customizations available, it is important to know that when you create any alterations to any type of window, if there is more than one section marked on the diagram at the top left of the page, be certain to left click the area you wish to make the changes to. This note is applicable when making alterations within any tab inside the dialog box. Let's start in the General tab and work our way through. In the General tab, you may add a plan notation, which will appear as the item's SKU on plan. To add the notation, left-click in the Plan Notation field and type your text. You may also adjust the window width and height dimensions, either by highlighting the current text and typing or by utilizing the arrows to the right. Inner arrows are one inch increments. Outer arrows are fractional increments. The width and height adjustments will affect the window as a whole. Section width and height fields will alter the selected section of a window from the diagram above. Note. Making alterations to these fields on a window with only one section will readjust the overall height or width of the window. You may also add a background image with the Set View button. When left-clicking this option, a dialog box containing all your computer files will open directly to pre-installed background image files. You may select any of these options or select a custom image stored within your computer. For more information on creating custom background images, please visit the Adding a Custom Image video tutorial. Once an image has been selected, left-click Select at the bottom right corner of the dialog box. Left-clicking the Add Sunlight button on the right will add sunlight to be cast into the room from the window. This action will increase the photorealistic nature of the 3D rendering by casting true-to-life light and blind blicks onto floors, countertops, and other nearby objects. The last option within the General tab allows you to select how many sections will be applied to the window and in what layout. At the bottom of the dialog box, cycle through the options with the black arrows to either end of the list. You may select between Vertical, Horizontal, 
picture, two unit, two unit t, two u, two t, and so on, up to and including a 10 degree bow seven unit window. Selecting any of the options with multiple units will provide you more areas to customize. In the Construction tab, you may select the installation process. Left-click the drop-down menu to select between Jams and Casing or Drywall Returns. The Reverse option will allow you to reverse the window's opening from left to right or right to left. Note that the reverse option will be inactive when working with a window that opens vertically. The profile button to the right, when left clicked, will provide a pop up menu providing you three casing profile options. Left click your selection and left click OK to apply. At the bottom of the page, you have the opportunity to select window operational effects. You may select between awning, casement, fixed, sliding, single and double hung options. In the Special Shapes tab, with the options at the bottom, you are able to alter the shape of the window between rectangular, rectangular with round top glass, rounded top, full arch head, and elliptical shapes. When selecting the full arch head option, you are provided a field in which you may adjust the arch height dimension. In the Grill Patterns tab, you may create and manipulate grill patterns to be added to the glass of the window. At the bottom of the page, you may select from No Grill, Colonial, Fractional, Prairie, and Victorian. Each of the grill pattern options will provide different fields that will allow you to customize the grill configuration. With the colonial option, you may add or remove columns, applied vertically, and rows, applied horizontally, by utilizing the arrows to the right of each field. Fractional will populate the columns and height field. Here, the height field will determine the height of the grill from the top of the glass. Prairie will allow you to adjust the gap between the sides of the window and the applied grill. And Victorian will again provide the columns and rows fields that will adjust vertical and horizontal sections along the Victorian grill pattern. The profile button to the top right when left clicked will provide a pop-up menu, providing you multiple grill profile options. Scroll through the options, left-click to select, and left-click OK to apply the new profile. Next up is the window glazing option. In this tab, utilize the drop-down menu to select the glazing application. The options provided here are not glazed, single, or double glazed. In addition to glazing application, you are also able to adjust the grill installation if applicable. In the drop-down menu, you may select no grill. This option will remove any applied grill patterns created within the grill patterns tab. You may also choose between inside only, which will apply the grill to the glass only on the inside of the window. Inside and outside to apply on both sides of the glass or between the glass, which will place the grill between the inside and outside panes of the window. At the bottom of the page, you may select the texture of the glazing between clear, matte, white, or smoked glazing textures. The window interior and exterior tabs allow you to make further customizations to the window 
in regards to the casing and brick mold. In Window Interior, you may install or uninstall a stool and apron or a casing by left-clicking the box to the left of the appropriate selection. When a casing has been applied, you may also adjust the casing width by either highlighting and typing the required value, or by utilizing the arrows to the right. You will find three buttons to the right that will provide you profile options for the casing, stool, and apron. Again, by left-clicking the button, selecting a profile, and clicking OK to apply. In the Window Exterior tab, you may uninstall or install brick mold, as well as select the brick mold profile with a button to the right. At the bottom of the dialog box, you will find finish options for both the interior and exterior of the window. Cycle through the options by left-clicking the black arrows at either end of the list, and left-click to select your preferred finish. In the Hardware tab, you may uninstall or install hardware by left-clicking in the box to the left of the option. Hardware options can be found at the bottom of the dialog box. Once again, cycle through the options with the black arrows and left-click an option to select. The last tab, labeled Blinds, offers you an opportunity to add and adjust blinds. Left-click the box to the left of Install Blinds to apply, which will activate the customization options. Utilize the drop-down menu to select slat size from half-inch micro up to three-inch wide shutter. Left-click and hold the tilt slider to close the blinds all the way to the inside, all the way to the outside, or open anywhere between. Or left-click and hold the lift slider to raise or lower the blinds. The option marked as Adjust All Blinds Together may be selected or deselected. This option, when marked, will adjust the blinds applied to all windows within the room simultaneously. The final customization option is the ability to select a new finish color for the applied blinds. Cycle through the list at the bottom of the page and left-click to select the preferred finish. To apply all the created changes to the window, Left-click OK at the bottom right corner of the dialog box. The Save to My Windows button will automatically save this created window for future use, and is a great way to store frequently used windows. These windows will be found in the Architectural Elements Catalog under the Windows Main Category folder, labeled as My Windows. The Cancel button will dismiss the dialog box without creating any alterations to the item. With the customization options provided in Pro Kitchen's Window Attributes, the styling options are seemingly endless, allowing you to best represent your customer's space. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. For more videos like this, please visit www dot prokitchensoftware dot com